Hi, this is Patrick from Explorer's Kitchen and today we're making sweetbreads. What are sweetbreads? They're neither sweet nor bread. They're actually organ meat. I've never made them myself before. I had them once at a restaurant called Animal in Los Angeles, probably about 10 years ago. I was visiting my brother and we really enjoyed the sweetbreads we had there and something I've always been meaning to cook, never had the chance till now. Now that I moved back to the Twin Cities, I found a really great butcher shop called uh, St. Paul Meat Market over in uh, Highland Park and they were able to source some sweetbreads for me. Oh, Daisy's coming to join us. Now, what are they and where did they come from? Well, let's just start with, they're the thymus gland. And they can come from a variety of animals. Most commonly, you're gonna find them in veal calves, and they are located behind the neck of the cow. So, uh, when they're slaughtering the animal for veal, this is one of the byproducts that often gets uh, thrown away, but it's actually quite revered, uh, especially by the French, who t typically eat more of the organ meat. In French, it's called ris, ris, I assume, de boeuf. I'm, I'm not a French expert. It's a particularly fatty and rich uh, piece of organ meat, and this is what they look like. I've got a couple right here. This is one lobe of the sweetbread, and it's kind of kidney shaped, and it's covered in a membrane on the outside. Like I said, this is the first time I cooked it, so let's do this together. To start off with, we need to poach these. Now, I poached these last night, uh, and I'll walk you through the steps right here. You make a court bouillon, and here's how you make the court bouillon. This is my first time making, but I think we can do it just fine. So let's start by going through the ingredients. We have a cup of onions roughly chopped, half a cup of celery roughly chopped, a half a cup of parts of leeks roughly chopped. This is some dried leeks that I had been saving for a little while. Behind that we have some thyme. This is about a teaspoon. Uh, you should use about a half a bunch of fresh thyme, ideally. Then we have a garlic that we cut in half just to expose the cloves, and a half a tablespoon of salt, a half a tablespoon of fennel seeds, and a half a tablespoon of black pepper. Then we have the juice of half a lemon and the rind, and lastly a bay leaf along with two ounces of white wine. And in goes everything. Onions, celery, thyme, leeks, salt, pepper, fennel, garlic, bay leaf, wine, lemon peel, and lemon juice. And we bring all of that to a simmer in one gallon of water. After 10 minutes, we'll strain it. We pour the strained right back in. Next, prepare an ice bath with some sea salt and water. So we just pull the ice, salt, and poach it, the sweetbreads very lightly in there for about four minutes. Then you take them and plunge them in an ice bath, a salted ice bath, to, to shock and chill them very quickly. And to poach the sweetbreads. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. After four minutes, they'll go right into our ice water bath. Now it's been four minutes, Time to pull them out. From there, we put them in the fridge, pressed between two pans. I used uh, two small tin pans. Press them with some weights on top. So just use some cans and, and condiment jars that I had in the fridge. Press them for at least five hours. I did overnight uh, to push out any of the impurities or blood or anything that's left in there. That gives you a really clean piece of organ meat to start with. Now it's time to trim them. I've not done this before, but what we need to do is peel off all of the membrane that's on the outside of this. I don't know how much is enough. 
since this is Explorer's Kitchen, we're going to figure this out together and see how to do this. Like I said, I've never done this before, but time to explore. And now it's time to peel them. So, these are our two lobes of sweetbreads that we have. And the idea is that we'll make a slit and remove the membrane just enough so that they don't completely fall apart. I've never done this before, so we'll figure it out. So it looks like this membrane is very thin here. So it looks like there's just some on the outside. The inner membrane is what holds the lobes together, it looks like. So I think we don't want to over peel that. We want to just carefully peel it enough so we don't destroy our meat. And then we also want to take out the vein. See there's this vein right here? We want to remove that. So most of this membrane is on the outside. Sure there's membranes holding the interior lobes together, but what we want to pull, peel is this outside membrane and devein it. So that means take out any of the veins or arteries that you see. Because they'll get tough when you cook them. Alright. And now that we've got our sweetbreads cut and ready to go, we're gonna season them with some salt and peppers. Then we're gonna dredge them in a seasoned flour. This I did almond flour, so two cups of almond flour. 2 teaspoons of sea salt and 2 teaspoons of ground black pepper. So let's season them. Let's mix our flour mixture together. And we can dredge them. Now that we've breaded our sweetbreads, now it's time to prep the cucumbers and the hazelnuts that are going to go with this recipe. Now that we have our sweetbreads prepped, we're going to toast some hazelnuts. So these are just a quarter cup of raw hazelnuts. They're going to go in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes to toast. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. And while they're toasting, we're going to prep a pound of Persian cucumbers by cutting them into two inch sections and crushing them. They'll go in the mixing bowl and we'll make our little salad that accompanies these sweetbreads. So two inch sections and crush. It's actually kind of fun to do. To the cucumbers, we're gonna add two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, which is about a half a lemon. Also add a teaspoon of fish sauce. And a teaspoon of olive oil. Ideally you would use hazelnut oil here since we're using hazelnuts, but I went to four stores looking for hazelnut oil and could not find it. Read online that you can substitute generally olive oil, walnut oil, or almond oil for hazelnut oil, so I'm going with olive oil since I had it. We'll add our hazelnuts to this, and then we'll fry up our sweetbreads and they'll go right in the recipe. Pretty simple. Alright, so now we gotta turn the skillet on high and add some olive oil and fry it up. Put enough oil to cover the bottom, and then it should take about five minutes to fry these till they're golden.
Well, that turned out fantastic. I had uh, a couple of friends over and they really enjoyed it. I would change a couple of little things in my opinion. First, since we fried in batches, they kind of cooled as the, the rest of the batches were being fried. So I would have liked to warm in an oven or something just to maintain the temperature. Probably took about 15 minutes to 20 minutes at most to do those frying in batches. And so I would have liked to keep them warm the whole time so that all of the sweet breads are hot by the time we get to it. They got tossed in the salad with the cucumber and the hazelnuts. While they tasted great, it'd be nice if that whole thing was hot. It, we found that it cooled off quite quickly, so if we were to make a change, that'd be it. But they were, they were tender and delicious, but not too gamey. They were quite mild, meaty. The rich fattiness worked great with the cucumbers because they kind of lightened up the dish a little bit. So it'd be kind of nice if that was a little hotter or maybe served alongside the cucumber salad uh, as a hot main with a cool side to accompany it. That's just our thoughts. We, we all thought the same thing. Really everybody enjoyed it. Alex and Chen loved it and I loved it as well. I'm going to be making it again. So this is the first and what I'm planning on doing is at a minimum of three parts of sweetbreads along with some other awful coming up. This recipe came from Chris Constantino of the book Awful Good. And I made a couple of minor modifications to it to suit my palate and uh, to keep it low carb. So I subbed regular flour for the almond flour. I think it worked great in this recipe. Also, I made that substitution of the olive oil versus the hazelnut oil. It worked excellent and uh, we, we really liked it a lot. So I'll be following up with a couple more recipes from that book from Awful Good. Again, Chris Constantino wrote the book and I'm looking forward to trying some more recipes from it. I do plan on doing some more awful uh, as we continue through this journey as a part of Explorer's Kitchen. So because we are planning on doing minimum of two more sweet bread videos, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay uh, connected and so you can have a chance to see these in the future. Click that bell too so you're notified when I do post new videos. And please let me know in the future, what would you like to see? Uh, what, what kind of uh, cuts are unusual or what's something different? What, what would you like to explore together with me? This is my first time cooking sweetbreads and I, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to be making it again in the future. I'm really glad that I have a butcher shop nearby where I can actually do that. Thanks for watching today and have a great day. Please hit subscribe and like the video. And again, let me know down in the comments what you want to see in the future. Have a great day. Thank you.